everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. Appreciate all of your support to the uh, local entrepreneur opportunity, the uh, community. Uh, my name is Brady Hogard. I run Oxford Recording Studio in Oxford, Mississippi. So I work with musicians. I work with uh, authors on on audiobook recording. I work with podcast series and, and all sorts of things to help individuals realize their dreams in audio and music. So when we turn on the radio or we listen to our, our favorite playlist, we hear a lot of incredible music played by amazing artists, musicians. Um, but what we don't realize is that behind the scenes, there's a huge challenge in the music industry, and that's the management of all of the production process. Okay, so managing a, a, a recording studio is very difficult, and there's a lot of stumbling blocks that they run through today with technology and the management that they uh, processes they need to put into place to manage their projects from day to day. So every day when I follow different social media channels, I see the same questions coming up by audio production professionals. What sort of tools are you using? How are you solving these different, these different challenges in the, in the uh, audio production industry? Things like, I haven't found a single solution that simplifies it all in managing their business as an audio professional. I have so many clients I can't manage. What CRM should I use? I use a Google Calendar and an Excel spreadsheet. I should look into something sexier. Time and time again, they're asking the same questions. And uh, based on my background and, and my experience in my studio, I wanted to find a solution. And I had some of the same experience, some of the same challenges day to day running my own studio business. And I decided that uh, after doing a lot of research, there really wasn't a viable option. There was no market leader that was solving these pain points for recording studios today. And I decided to look into building a platform called Sonido Software. Sonido Software is a <coughs> business management suite that's designed for the audio production industry, so recording studios, that brings together the tools necessary to more efficiently and effectively manage a studio business. At the end of the day, this is business management. We're focusing on the audio industry because I have a passion for that industry, but also because there's a huge need in that market for a strong solution. But at the end of the day, this is business management tools. So some of the challenges that we see in the, in the ecosystem today, and the most prominent, is recording studios try to pull together all sorts of independent platforms. They integrate these together in all sorts of different ways, and it, it creates a very complicated web of integrations that's very, very difficult to manage over time. Some of the other challenges in the industry are with existing platforms that are used today. Either they're very limited in the ability to provide these solutions, they're based on outdated technology, or they're very cost prohibitive. One such example is a company called Studio Suite. They've been in the industry for over 10 years, but they're known in the industry as being very cumbersome and very expensive, and ultimately, they still haven't solved these industry needs, what these recording studio managers are looking for to solve their workflow solutions. Another example is Studio Assistant. While they are, are trying to be a more simplified solution, the challenge is that they're also known in the industry as being very buggy. They're missing key features, and individuals have quoted I've used it about an hour, it's extremely bare bones. It's basically a glorified data entry system or I couldn't think of a good use for it. Everything is manual entry. These solutions are in place today but they are not listening, first of all. They're not listening to the needs of the industry and they're not producing the solutions that they're looking for. So Nito Software is targeting four distinct segments within the audio production industry. Commercial facilities, project studios, which are by and large the biggest group of, uh, of the market today, freelance engineers and producers, and educational music institutes, such as Delta State University here locally, which runs the Recording Arts program. The United States market today consists of over 69,000 opportunities in the audio production space, which equates to a monthly opportunity of $5.6 million if we look at the projected Sonido software revenue model. Now our revenue is based on SaaS recurring revenue, meaning it's a month-to-month -month subscription to subscribe to Sonido and use the project management and other tools within the system. All of this to say our annual total addressable market in the United States alone is over 67 million dollars annually 
and uh, we're, we're working with studios outside of the country as well. Um, last week we had a great conversation with, an, uh, with a studio out of Norway uh, as well as Germany and we're looking to expand this market beyond the United States market. So if you remember this complicated integrated web that studios are trying to manage today, or bringing all of that together into a platform, which is Sonido. And I want to give you a little view of what this looks like today. As we listen to their needs, their pain points and challenges, they're looking for solutions. An end-to-end -end solution that brings together the best of all of those tools into a single platform that will allow them to manage their leads, their contacts, their projects, scheduling, file management, and everything else in order to produce the music that we love to hear on the radio today. So again, this is a recurring revenue solution. Uh, this is our pricing model. We'll have different tiers broken out on, uh, by packages and uh, they have different functionality per package depending on the needs of those market segments. Today we have a number of success partners. Uh, these are beta testers that are actual studios in a couple different market segments that are using the platform today. And uh, we've had a, a lot of great feedback from these individuals. Something that's really key about these individuals is that nearly every one of our beta testers has told us that they're interested in moving forward as a client when we launch very soon. So what are they saying? So Nito has some awesome features that we are excited about. It will better help me keep track of projects from start to finish. It makes the booking of all our studios so much easier. And we are excited for all Sonido has to offer. So what we're looking for as a company, uh, we're looking actively seeking $150,000 investment with the, the right venture partner that can help us to meet our goals as we move forward as a company. Uh, things from our, I mean, we're looking at using these funds for our market launch, for marketing resources, some sales resources, and hiring our sales team to kick this off the ground. Uh, continue our development, uh, different operations such as our customer support and training teams, and ultimately to have a strong presence at events in the industry. So our market launch is on Monday. We've been, we've been working really hard to meet this deadline. We're so excited to launch this next week. And uh, we've already put a lot of time into our building our website, building our marketing channels. We'll continue to do so um, as we get ready to launch and move forward. As far as our revenue forecasts, these are conservative forecasts. Uh, we're looking at, after our second year, um, reaching over one million in recurring revenue and scaling that from there. The team today consists of myself as the founder and CEO. And uh, we have a number of contracted developers today. We're really excited to launch, and as we start to get some revenue in <coughs> hand, we'll start building out our team further, starting with our sales team to focus as a sales and marketing company, and then build out the rest of our infrastructure from there. So why does it matter? Uh, again, we're talking about the music industry, right? It's a, it's a niche industry, but really what it comes down to is that uh, we're building business solutions. This isn't new but it's definitely new in the audio production industry. There is no clear market leader, and we have a really exciting opportunity to be that market leader and define the space. We're standardizing tools for success. We're providing organization where today there is no solid organization to these, these companies. Encouraging efficiency. We're enabling them to grow their production. Providing a better client experience to their end clients. And, and, and really driving to become the market leader in the space. We're solving these pain points that they have today. 
and we're going to invite, innovate to bypass the pain points that they may experience down the road. I appreciate your time very much. I'd uh, be open to any questions you may have about Sonido software. question. Um, there's a lot of overlap between <coughs> audio and video production. We wanted to start with audio because that's where our expertise is and build from there. I think there's a lot of opportunity not only for video but other forms of production as well. So it's a great, great question. And obviously that opens our market dramatically, right? Did you have a question, sir? You're right. Um, I mean, we have a lot of the same facets of a traditional CRM. <coughs> really, the difference that we are structuring is we want a solution that's tailored to their workflow. We can go, anyone can go and get a generic CRM. At the end of the day, they're so generic so that they can be sold to the masses. We wanted to build a solution that has the specific workflow for these individuals. So things like a file review module. When a uh, recording studio has completed a file, they send it out to their clients for review. And uh, in real time, they can listen to the audio file and comment on the time stream with their specific needs for changes, for revisions, and the studio can work back and forth. And there's a number of small pieces of modules within Sonido that are, they fall outside the traditional CRM. And they're very much more speaking towards the audio production process from start to finish. So, got 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you very much.